But here's the thing is there's no doubt about it that so many people in the black community are hurting right now as a response to what's happened to George Floyd. And, and, and what pains me is that God calls us as Christ followers to love our neighbor as ourself. And I began to think about this. When I'm in a position of pain and when I'm hurting, how do I want to be loved? Like when, when I'm really brokenhearted and I'm really grieving something and I'm really struggling, how do I want to be loved? Because that's how God says we should love other people. You guys tracking with me? I'll tell you what I don't want when I'm in pain is I don't want your opinion about why my pain doesn't matter. I don't want your opinion why my pain, it, it, it doesn't make sense to you. I don't want your opinion of why, you, why my pain should be minimized in this moment. Another thing, I don't want your politics when I'm in pain. I, I don't need your political viewpoint. I don't need you to politicize the situation. And I definitely don't need your indifference when I'm in pain. What I need is I need your empathy. I need somebody who's willing to look at my situation, put themselves in my shoes, and try to understand why I feel the way that I do. You see what I'm saying? And I don't need your opinion, I need your presence. There's plenty of time to have a conversation about opinions and politics, but when there's an open wound in my soul and I'm grieving and I'm hurting and there's a community of people that are just upset and you want to just explain away and dismiss the pain that they're going through, I think you're missing the opportunity to demonstrate the power of love your neighbor as yourself. Why don't you step into the situation and love them just like you would want to be loved? You know what I'm saying? And I, I just, I hate that we just politicize people's pain too. Just, it drives me crazy. Christian, if you're watching it, and your politics prevent you from showing empathy to another human being that's hurting, you've made an idol out of your politics. If, if you let your opinion stop you from actually loving your neighbor as yourself because you just don't understand that they're in, I'm telling you, you're missing it here. And here's the thing that I think about this whole situation is this, this word empathy, human empathy, that God wants us to have towards other people. There's a myth that, that if you show empathy towards somebody that you agree with everything, that you have to adopt their political stance or you have to adopt their beliefs. Empathy is not, hey, I agree with everything. Empathy is, I see you hurting and I'm gonna get close and I wanna understand and I wanna hear where that pain's coming from and I just wanna be available to learn and grow and help you in this situation. And yes, later on we can have some conversations and we can come to conclusions together. What's the best way moving forward? But when someone's hurting, they need your presence, they need your empathy, and they need your help. They don't need your opinion, your politics, and, and your indifference. So I, I just, I know I'm getting preachy there, but I just, I just felt like God put that on my heart to share this week. Because loving your neighbor as yourself, how would you want to be loved in any given situation? Think about that, and then love as if you were in that situation. Mm -hmm.